Welcome back gamers. I got a new microphone. So a couple things regarding this microphone that I figured out from testing. It tends to make a lot of popping sounds when you make P noises, which I am not thrilled about. Um, however, it does not pick up mouse clicks and it doesn't pick up my chair moving and it doesn't pick up a lot of background noise like my other mic. Um, so I think it's pretty good. I might maybe try to move it down. I don't know. I don't think it's picking up any that many popping noises. It's pretty like below angle of my mouth. But yeah, last episode I wanted to um, basically stop because I was getting too in the flow of things and I couldn't explain what I was doing. So anyways, let me kind of try to explain. Uh, for example, this last episode when I didn't make these gems, that was really a great example of me getting in the flow of things and not really um, performing as well as I could. Um, anyways, I have made four workers. I like to have as many workers as I have cities for the most part. Maybe one more worker than I have cities. Uh, I find it's very <laughs> beneficial to always have workers. Um, I, d I like to have more workers than I need to have. If, if, I had, if I had the choice of having too many workers and paying maintenance on them, like having the workers work faster than my borders can grow or that I can get good tiles, versus not having enough workers to keep up with the amount of resources my cities are getting, I would rather have more workers. So now that I have four, I'm going to go ahead and try to connect all these guys. I believe this gentleman probably was going to this iron, but I am actually not for certain. Probably won't improve this iron. I'll probably just put a uh, great scientist on it actually when the time comes. Yeah, that's what I will do. So I'll have this guy come over to Nipper. Meanwhile, in Akkad, Akkad is working four food tiles and he's gonna hopefully grow along this river, hopefully pick up the sugar and his bananas. Um, Melbourne is my rival for these bananas, so I kind of don't want Melbourne to get it, but I'm going for the sugar right now. But yeah, we're just going to take our time, not get into the flow of commentary, and just, you know, just uh, try to be as in-depth as we can. So let's see, let's check um, the glo uh, global politics real quick. So Maya are friends with us, Egypt does not like the Shoshone, I don't know why, I do not know why Egypt does not like the Shoshone. Uh, I'm sure th they did something early on. I also did not get a religion. I believe it was myself in Brazil that did not get religions. What about Denmark? Did he get one? Denmark did not get one. So it was the Maya, the Shoshone, Egypt, and then there's still a religion that can be get gotten. Um, I might get it. I have a feeling it will go to Brazil. Anyways, my capital, it may seem bad because it's really weak. And that is true, but I'm getting hanging gardens, and then hopefully I can make tons of farms. I'm trying to basically grow my capital to an absurd amount, and because of that, I need a lot of happiness. I'm actually getting civil service right now, because civil service will give me <coughs> extra food on tiles with fresh water. It also unlocks the pikemen, which is nice. It unlocks Chichen Itza, which I'm not going to try for. In fact, Chichen Itza might even already be gone. Okay, no, Chichen Itza is still up for grabs. It also unlocks this guy, which is pretty useless to me unless I go Commerce, but I'm not going Commerce because I still have to finish Tradition and get my free Aqueducts. Um, you may notice that I have not researched this tech. You do not need this tech to get the free Aqueducts. And so while normally this tech would be really good, because I'm going Tradition, I don't have to worry about it. And in fact, since you go Tradition most games, I can't even say normally this tech would be really good. Uh, because the normal is to go tradition and not to go for engineering. Um, the bridges over rivers is a pretty nice deal, and the additional trade route is pretty nice. The building construct forts is somewhat good, but it's not on the way to education, so I don't really go for it that often. Anyways, what are we doing here? Well, we're in civil service, we're going to education. Education gives plus 33% uh, science in our cities, which is basically, think of it like we increase the rate at which we get technologies by plus 33%. So if I have deduced that, I, I don't know. 
If I have to do Brandenburg Gate is what I really need, I could either go to Brandenburg Gate directly, or I could get this plus 33% boost over here and eventually work my way there. And it works out such that getting this plus 33% boost gets you there faster. Furthermore, universities have, you see how it says scientist slots too? That means that in my cities I can work, um, I can use citizens of mine, so people like this, this guy right here, I can use them towards creating a great scientist. And as you saw at the beginning of the game, that's 8 science. 8 science is probably less b big of a deal now. Let's see, without this I would have 21, so it's not even half. Um, but still, it, it adds up. It's, c it's quite a bit of a good modifier, you know. It's not like a 100% increase like it was before. It's more like a 30% increase, which is still really nice. Um, I like to get basically a lot of those. Furthermore, education is on its way to astronomy. Astronomy unlocks the observatory, which is plus 50% science in cities that are built next to mountains. And as you may notice, Babylon, the city of Babylon with this academy right here, is on a mountain, and also so is this city. So I have two cities that can get plus 50% science. Um, I believe that the math is such that it's more like plus 20%, that's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. Nonetheless, um, why do we care about science? Why would I not just build military right now and kill Shoshone? Well, first off, okay, well, maybe not Shoshone. I'm last in soldiers, right? And it would take a lot of my time to make soldiers that are somewhat relevant to Shoshone. And furthermore, the Deity AI gets such ridiculous production and science bonuses that I cannot beat him one to one. I need to go for a tech that is ahead of Shoshone. So if Shoshone's in the Renaissance, I need to be in the Industrial Era. And then I might have a chance at killing him. Because while he has just a sheer huge amount of uh, units compared to me, I have stronger units. That's basically what I'm going for. So by researching the science things and all that, it's insurance. So I'm going for civil service first to recap because I want this uh, fresh water bonus. Then we're going for philosophy. Philosophy is a, it unlocks the National College which in a single city can uh, give me plus 50% science. However, you have to have libraries in all your cities. And as you can see, I have 10 here and 31 here. However, this is probably going to be done sooner because it's going to grow and I'm going to reassign tiles. So philosophy would be done in 15 turns. Um, that should be around the time that I'm done building on my libraries, and then I can start it. So it does nothing for me to have philosophy unlocked right now in terms of science. So that's why I'm going for other texts like currency, civil service, whatever. Then philosophy will go into theology, which isn't too useful for me. It does unlock the garden, which is plus 25% generation of great people i.e. I get scientists 25% faster, which is really good. It's a good insurance, just like how this is good insurance. But really, what I'm working towards is this. It's just nice that there's three pretty good things along the way, but education is the big deal. It also gives me uh, research agreements, which is another good deal, although that costs a lot of money, which I don't have, so that's not really an incentive. Alright, so he just made Borobador. Borobador is faith, and it also gives him three missionaries. Each one can spread their faith twice. So basically, this whole side of the world is about to become Catholic. He's probably going to send some here, some here, and some here, if I had to take a guess. He might even convert to call. Probably to call, Dur, Colombo, Sao Paulo, Rio, and Quebec. Um, my declaration of friendship with Brazil has ended. I want to continue being friends with Brazil. Hola? And while it does not really do anything for me right now, when I unlock education, it is, um, it allows me to make research agreements with Brazil, and when we get chivalry, I don't know if it's both of us or just one of us, but I think when we, I think when both of us get chivalry, I can do a defensive pact with Brazil, which is basically going to help deter people from killing me. And as you may remember, I'm last in military, and I expect to remain that way for quite a while, so the more friends I can have that won't kill me, the better. Anyways, this city just grew. That's good. I want this uh, library to be done in basically 13 turns, so let's see if I can change that at all. 
15 turns. Um, that's pretty good. Would I rather the faith of the two gold? I think I would rather the two gold. So yeah, that's fine. The 15 is okay. It's not ideal, but it's not the worst. Let's go ahead and make some roads now. Er, let's just go here to the city and just improve stuff. In fact, I don't have dyes. I'm going to improve these dyes. The reason I'm going to improve these dyes is because once the Hanging Gardens is done in the city of Babylon, the city of Babylon is going to grow like crazy, and I basically need to stockpile as much happiness as I can for when that's going to happen. Oh, Pakal created another wonder. So what probably happened here is that the Maya have a unique ability where they... I mean, if, if you've watched my channel, you probably just watched the Maya game. He probably just got a free great engineer for no reason, and then used that to rush Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia gives him a free great prophet. So he has these missionaries right here, all of which can spread twice, and he has a prophet. So he has 10 spreads in total. <laughs> Alright, so Babylon and Akkad are going to grow right now. That's good. Alrighty. So let's see here. Um, I don't really have a lot of growth to work, so I will go ahead and work this production because it's better than nothing, and I'm still growing at a pretty non-negligible rate. Nine turns is pretty good. Meanwhile, the city of Babylon uh, basically has to work this. I'll starve. Oh god, I'm not on freaking offline. Sorry about that. I like to go offline while I record. Alright. Um, so... Anyways, the city of Babylon has to work this, else it doesn't grow. Um, once the Hanging Gardens is done, I'm actually going to reassign tiles. I'm still going to work this, but after that I'm going to work a lot of food tiles. So I kind of need to start making farms here. I'll probably have this guy actually finish this road, and then take this guy over here. I'll have this guy begin making farms. Welcome. Okay, uh, I don't know why my scout just stopped. Something apparently prompted him to. Oh, I think I was bringing him over here. So... Last time, I believe Melbourne wanted a natural wonder. I want to get rid of quests from city-states that I can't do. These quests, these trade route quests, I can do these easily. But this, this great artist quest or this natural wonder quest, I don't want that. And basically, I want to get rid of them as fast as possible, so that way I can get more quests that are easy to complete. So we're just scouting over here with our extra site scout, looking for natural wonders. There could be something like Krakatoa, Great Barrier Reef, whatever. Alright, 12 turns, and that's in 7, so it's going to be a 5 turn difference, but that's okay. Alright, nothing over here, so let's go ahead and circle around to the Maya. Oh, this city never even had a library, so what do you know? I wasn't min-maxing enough, and I missed, I was not paying attention. So instead of 5 turns, it's going to look like, two, it's going to look like 14 turns, which I know like. So um, this city is going to grow, I'm going to see if I can have it. Well, this is going to give it production, and then I'm also going to try to work this silver, so it might be more like 10 turns instead of 14. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and go around the Maya, look for something down here. Natural Wonders are generally arbitrary where they spawn, but, you know, it could, it could be done here, I don't know. I, th some of them, there's like kind of rhyme and reason to how they spawn and why it's just not exactly streamlined that well. Alright, so this is done. I would like to continue this road, but I have to make food now to keep up with Babylon's insane growth that's about to get. The city is also going to be chopping this forest, which will accelerate this process even sooner. So let's see, this went from 8 turns to now 4. So that would only be a one turn difference if it weren't for this library. Okay, so let's check. I have a lot of good stuff right now. Um, and because I have a lot of good stuff, I could either... <coughs> and by good stuff, I mean just necessary infrastructure to grow my cities. Um, the only other necessary thing I could think of is a market and also a shrine just for long term investment. They are both pretty good. I'm not too particularly concerned about a shrine because in Babylon I'm going to have plenty of great scientists and this faith should be plenty by the end of the game. The plus two per turn it should be enough to get me one great person which would probably be an engineer since we're going to get so many scientists. 
This market would be good and I am going to need to build a market eventually. I think what I instead will do, however, is make a caravan. You can send caravans to your cities and it will give it more food. And I'm going to send it to the city of Babylon so that way it gets more food. Um, the reason that is important is because I basically want as many citizens as possible to, so that way I can start working these plus uh, these slots that will help generate great scientists without really impacting my cities that much. Anyways, um, that's going to be the end of this video. I will record one more episode and then begin my day. I don't want to record too much at once, else I get in the flow of things and not pay attention. Anyways, thanks for watching.